Men Square Inspirational Motivational Videos for the Modern Man But that is why some give until they give up. The question is, can women be too demanding? Aside from the fact that women need security, or a secure man of which may be able to help her become stable or advance in life. Aside from the natural team effort of man and woman to coexist in a healthy relationship, nothing will ever be perfect, but more a sense of a shared understanding to support each other. Simple. But beyond the rational aspects, can women be too demanding of men? In 2019, is that simple? Is it easier in a sense to just hook up rather than to try to build something? Is that the case or the case for some people? See, some would say this is misogynistic thinking, to never commit to a woman but to still enjoy them. But who is the one getting the most benefit out of this hookup culture? Yes, we as men get some benefits, of course. But who benefits the most? Smart businessmen and women. Because businessmen see and understand how they can sell it, through things like hookup sites and dating apps. And the women that benefit from it are the ones that get the vast layers of attention through said dating apps. So with women being demanding in general, having this natural demand for the security, has it now been amplified to greater levels? Do they have the confidence in being overly demanding because another man may be always one swipe away, an inbox away, so on, he's around the corner, he's hiding in the bushes, who knows. In a sense, is any one man seen as lesser in value because so many men may be throwing themselves at women at any given time? Does that lessen the value of men on a whole? In the eyes of women, do you wonder? Therefore, it's free choice to pick from whatever man fits her need. As if there is a buffet of men from which she can choose. But she eats depending on her appetite and mood, or how she feels. Maybe something sweet and all too tempting. She knows it's bad for her, that he is bad for her, unhealthy. But her mouth, her lips are already watering, are they not? Or something boring, very healthy, very safe. Something that is actually good for her. A man that would be good for her. But no, why not have fun? Tis a buffet, is it not? She can eat healthy later. Is it us as men that should get our game up? Is it us that should make ourselves constantly more palatable? Just to be chosen? Just to be chosen on that man buffet of the internet? But what is the point of playing a game where the odds could constantly be stacked against you? It's like a bet where you have to put £1,000 or dollars to get in, but the winning prize, the top prize, is only £50 or dollars? Is that what dating has become like? Is that why so many feel they are paying £1,000 for something that's only worth 50 Is it? That's why the only game many men play is poker. Poker. You know, see what I did there? You know, yeah, let's carry on, let's carry on. Because some games should be enjoyed. The game is addictive, but some men only understand this once they have spent all their coins. Their pockets are empty, gained nothing, and lost time. To the high demands a man has of himself, to demanding better for and of yourself. In other words, focus, observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.